Now let's consider empirical and molecular formula. We want to find out the steps to finding empirical formula. So what you do is uh, first you list all the elements in the compound. There's usually only two or three. Write the experimental masses of the percentage. So what you should do is actually the first step is number one, first step. Just list out the mass or percentage. All right. Then the second step would be divide each mass or percentage by the molar mass. Okay? Find the number of mole. That will be mass over molar mass. Alright. The third one, you get the simplest ratio. Okay? Try to get the best simplest ratio and convert to the simplest form. And then that will tell you the formula of the compound. So right now we want to scroll through this document. We want to solve the question one by one. Alright. So let us see. Number one, to form iron two sulfide, fifty-six gram of iron combines with thirty-two gram of sulfur. Find its empirical formula. Alright, so I position this. Let's enlarge it a bit to have a clearer view. Right. So now we want to go to it step by step. Now we use I will use blue. Now to form iron two sulfide, okay, so it should be Fe, okay, X, and sulfide comes from sulfur, so this is Y. This X and Y is unknown numbers, so for me, I'm supposed to come up with some kind of chart. So FES. So the first step is list out the mass. List out the mass. The mass of iron is actually 56 gram. The mass of sulfur is actually 32 gram. So you want to find the number of mole, 56 over molar mass of iron, 56 as well. And this 32 over the molar mass of sulfur is also 32. So do you get 1 and 1 ratio, ratio of the mole? So because of this, I would say that the empirical formula for Iron two sulfide is FES. Okay. So now we move on to the second question. Okay, we want to move, look at the second question. Now, now you look at carefully. One point eight four gram of hydrocarbon wine burns to give six point one six carbon dioxide and one point four four of gram of water. Find its empirical formula. Now this one, we should use a whiteboard to see a clearer view. All right. So we have 6.16, 1.44. Right. Now, the hydrocarbon here, when they say hydrocarbon is a compound consists of C and H. Okay. Even though they say hydro, hydro first before carbon, but we always follow that hydrocarbon is comes on C, X, H, Y. Now, uh, 6.16 gram refers to the mass of carbon dioxide. 1.44 gram refers to the mass of the water. Now, when you, when you um, apply some reaction on this, you, when you burn, when, you, when this compound goes through combustion, combustion is that uh, you burn something, you actually get carbon dioxide and water. So, um, in the question, it mentioned that it has 1.84 gram of hydrocarbon. Why? 1.84. So, is the piece of information 1.84 gram important? Let's find out. Okay. So, now look at the red line I'm going to use. CO2, the carbon com contribute to this, and then the hydrogen contribute to the H here. So we don't really need oxygen. So what we do is uh, we need to get the percentage or the fraction of the carbon. Okay, We need to get the mass of the carbon. Now the mass of the carbon is 12 over 12 plus 16 plus 16 times 6.16 gram. Now why am I doing that? So let's consider 
what we learned before in our study of maths if let's say my dad he has RM $616 and he decided to give it to Chris and another one is Olivia and another girl is uh, o o Ovi okay so in the form of in the ratio of 12 uh, 16 and 16 so I need to know how much money Chris is getting so how much money Chris is getting is 12 over 12 plus 16 plus 16 so times 616 okay so such calculation gives you the the mass of the carbon okay back here the mass of carbon back here so how about this this is you need to know the mass of hydrogen so 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 plus 16 times 1.44 so because of this uh, I could find that the mass here is the calculator so 12 over 44 12 over 44 times 6.16 that will give you 1.68 gram and then the other way is uh, 2 over 18 times 1.44 so you get 0 0.16 gram so now we have the mass of carbon and mass of hydrogen we should put them together in this format to refer back to the previous page 1.68 0 0.16 So you will realize that the previous information of the mass of the hydrocarbon is not really that important. You know the 1.84 gram is not really that important. So now, uh, first step we have done, we list out the mass. Second step we need to find the mole. So the mole is 1.868 divided by 12. This one will give me 0.14. mole and this one 0 0.16 divided by 1 is simply 0 0.16 now 14 and 16 the ratio is 7 8 isn't it 7 8 isn't it all right so because of this you could put them together as c7 h8 Right, so that's the empirical formula for carbon and hydrogen. All right.